so session will be more about stellar system and how to make a prediction from it and uh, let's see what are the uh, coordinates all about how it actually works and uh, how to make a conclusion out of it so on basis of that we will decide and how uh, it is different from this uh, diff system that we are using earlier so it's more or less the same thing but here what happens is uh, we don't take the natural significance of our planets so if venus is a significator of uh, relationship glamour beauty uh, so on basis of uh, the natural significance we don't make a judgment we make a judgment to some extent but uh, uh, more rely on the coordinates that is there with the planet so it is mainly a coordinate system so let me explain how it works so this is a normal chart uh, which is actually casted so here you can see the lagn kundli and on the right side is bhav chalit chart so how this bhav chalit chart actually works so let me uh, give you some context of it so here you can see the ascendant degree is uh, 13 degree right uh, so there are there is planet saturn which comes after the degree of ascendant uh, so, okay uh, on basis of this the placement of saturn is decided so let's say uh, now let me go back to the uh, so in bhav chalit chart uh, the saturn is placed in the ascendant now what happened is if the degree of ascendant would have been more than the degree of saturn saturn would have shifted to previous house so let me show you how okay. it works so if i change the time a bit so now see saturn has moved to different sign so i have made it uh, yeah. 11:30 so let me go back to the original chart and show you what uh, the change of degree so here it is 13 degree and saturn is 14 degree so let me edit a bit and uh, let me show you how it actually works uh, so let me make it uh, 30 and show you so see uh, the now the degree of ascendant is more than the degree of saturn and for this reason the saturn has shifted to the previous house so let me go back yeah so this is the so uh, let me show you here as well so here what i have done is so the, these are the uh, cusps uh, degree of all the signs so first house is my ascendant and ascendant as i told earlier is of 13 degree uh, that was reflected here capricorn the second house uh, that lies on capricorn 16 degrees aquarius 22 pisces 25 so on so you see that all the signs are not of the same degree the reason for this is uh, there is a bit of variation between the length of the sign so some signs are bit longer some signs are bit shorter so based on that uh, you see the difference here so that is the main reason so like i can see uh, this region of capricorn is uh, 16 degree so there must be a part which is more than 30 degree right here also in aquarius so it is expected that this sign is a bit longer again if i go to pisces it is even more longer now if i come to aries it is reduced it is reduced so the sign aries is a bit right. shorter one taurus is also shorter gemini is also going down then again cancer is a bit longer leo is a bit longer sign virgo is even long Uh, as we have shown uh, we have seen in the stellarium software and then again it goes down so this is how it works so libra sign is a bit less than 30 degree I have, we have seen that libra is a shorter sign so in this way it works so uh, what happens is uh, uh, let me sh show you one more thing so here you see sun mars mercury are in the 10th house but in bhav chalit chart they have uh, shifted to ninth house so can you identify the reason for this uh so basically uh, would be because the sign the difference in the sign i guess uh, i mean the sizes of the zodiac sign yeah correct correct uh, for that reason only so 
let us see what is the degree of mars and mercury so mars is around 8 degree so and mercury is around uh, 21 degree and my 10th law 10th uh, sign is uh, virgo virgo is of 25 degree so both uh, both these planet uh, mars and mercury are less than 25 degree and for this reason they have been shifted to the previous sign same is true for okay. other planets as well so if for suppose moon is there in the fourth house and fourth house is coming out to be pisces pisces is 25 degree moon is of 3 degree so it has been shifted to the previous sign so what happens is the uh, degree of your uh, house if it exceeds the degree of the planet it has been shifted to the previous house in bhav chalit so this is how this bhav okay. chalit chart is casted so i hope i'm making sense and things are clear yeah sort of i guess it takes a little bit of getting used to with more examples yeah yeah so uh, yeah so this is very simple actually uh, so just look, look at the degree look at compare the degree if it, if the degree of the house exceeds the degree of the planet put it in the previous house so this is quite simple uh, Okay. Yeah. Actually, about it. So we'll take some more case studies, so it will be clearer as it progresses. So now look at the Bhav Chalit chart. So what are the coordinates that you are seeing? How these coordinates are placed? Let me put an example. So Moon here is the Lord of Eight House, right? And here it is placed in yeah. the fourth house. But in Bhav Chalit chart, we have to consider where it is placed. So it is placed in the third house. so coordinates of moon that it has acquired is 3 and 8 so these are the coordinates of moon simple right and now let let us jump to jupiter so jupiter is the lord of ascendant lord of fourth house and here in bhav chalit chart it is placed in the seventh house so 1 4 so this is how it is placed now let us jump to one more example saturn Saturn is the lord of uh, Aquarius, uh, Capricorn and Aquarius. These two sign, and it is placed in the first house. So one, two, three. So what it actually signifies is uh, Jupiter, Saturn, or Mercury, or any other planet. Uh, they will be uh, giving results of these houses in their dasha. So that is actually what it means. Uh, so coordinate only means that uh, that is the only significance that one, two, and three. Uh, if it is signifying. that means it will give the results of more uh, of first house second house and third house in its dasha so this is how the uh, kp system actually works or the stellar system works that's why this is the same reason why you were talking about 10 and 11 uh, yeah, correct, 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 right? correct 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 that was the only reason but only thing is that uh, so few things are missing here for example Saturn is placed in the first house. Now, out of these three houses, which house will dominate, or the results of which house will be more? That is something that is missing here. Uh, it shows that it will give results of all the three houses, but which which will dominate? That is missing. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, I have found in my practice or if in the analysis that uh, if Venus is placed in the twelfth house, it will give give results, or it will act. as if it is placed in the 12th house it won't give results of the 11th house but uh, or uh, sorry it will uh, the results will come out in the 11th house but the personality of a person if you judge that uh, it will be according to the 12th house itself so it is a bit confusing let me take you uh, take one more example so moon is placed in the 4th house and i have said earlier that if moon is placed in the 4th house the person is very good in his studies Uh, it is quite focused in his studies and studies wise if you see these are quite good students and they perform really well compared to other people uh, so that quality will be only uh, will always be there so that quality of moon uh, i won't consider that if moon has mo- moved to third house i will take the qualities of third house into moon or i will judge accordingly i will judge or make that judgment from the placement of moon in the lagna ha lagna kundli although it has been placed in third house in bhav chalit and it results will come out in the dasha of third and eighth house but still the results of moon will be shown or the significance of the personality that will be 
that a person will have will be of moon in the fourth house so is it making sense or i'm confusing you yeah sort of so you are saying moon uh, for the moon uh, mostly the results are uh, bound to the place where it is uh, there in the lagging chart mm -hmm. and uh, it's not the same case for venus uh, and right uh, no venus also uh, would be the same so like venus is uh, placed in 12th house and it will give the results of 12th house but when you are uh, okay. looking at the dasha of venus so you have to mainly look at the coordinates that it has acquired okay. so uh, okay. i'm saying what i'm saying is uh, when you look at the personality of the person look at the lagn chart always look at the lagn okay and when you want to see that what will happen in a particular dasha look at the bhav chalit chart okay what will happen in that dasha that will signify more from bhav chalit chart uh, also considering the lagn chart as well but uh, more it will act from the bhav chalit perspective okay. so uh, from uh, my experience i have seen keep a lagn chart in the mind uh, make all your assumption or what you have seen or the trend that you have seen uh, in a kundli from the lagn chart itself make prediction only out of lagn chart and when you have to see that what will happen in a particular dasha for that uh, see these coordinates these coordinates actually help us to determine what will actually okay. happen in that dasha so uh, in that way it helps so let me explain you some so, of the so uh, 10 and 11 uh, to thing yesterday 10 and 11 uh, are like uh, good coordinates so mm -hmm. uh, that basically means uh, the results would be uh, related to the 10th and 11th houses right yeah 10th and the 11th houses and why is it so uh, i'm explaining uh, so just give me a minute uh, i'm explaining you so uh, there is a meaning of each and every coordinate uh, that is there so uh, like for example i have mentioned earlier when there is a conjunction of two planets it forms a yog it uh, gives a uh, mutual actually results so actually uh, when i have uh, when we have spoken about venus and moon conjunction there is some significance that is coming out of it so likewise in this bhav chalit chart if i have a combination of few coordinates it is forming a yog so let us understand what are the what are those yogs and how it is formed so let me start with some charts of education so for education i have mentioned earlier as well that uh, mainly houses are uh, second house uh, fourth house fifth house ninth house and 11th house so second house mainly uh, the thing that you acquire so understand in this way first house is your body or yourself uh, that uh, you are born and the second thing that happens after is you start acquiring knowledge about the thing that 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 is around you you start hearing about things that uh, is happening around you so you start learning so that is why it is considered that second house is uh, the house that uh, mainly the information or the things that you got gather fourth house is your formal education fifth house is mainly for your intelligence ninth house is for higher education and 11th house is for gain so gaining something or uh, having a good uh, uh, you know steady progress in life for that uh, 11th house is considered to be most vital so for education uh, considering only four houses for education and also 11th house for uh, steady progress in life so this is the coordinate for education now coming to some other uh, like for example if i say uh, uh, professional life so for professional life second house is considered to be the house of your uh, wealth that you have accumulated so far sixth house is for your career 10th mm, house is for your status fame that you have acquired and 11th house is for gain so this is a complete combination for uh, 
a good professional life in this what happens uh, six and eleven comes becomes most vital six is the house of competition your employment what you're working on and eleventh house is gain so sixth is most vital 11th and it, if it is associated with 11 then you beat all your competitors you outperform all of them and it is somewhat equal to uh, 6 10 11 so uh, it is a win situation but at the same time uh, people will know that uh, you have achieved so much in your life Okay, and rest other coordinates like uh, 211 or some other that uh, are not so significant. So, 611, I will show you a live example that I have seen in my life. So, let us see here. So, this person I have told you that uh, you can see that there are many pa planets with the 611 combination 611 here in Venus, uh, Jupiter. Uh, 611 here 611 here so mainly what it is is uh, this is the coordinate of planet this is the coordinate of the nakshatra that uh, that planet is placed in and this is the sub lord so let me explain you uh, so here what happens is sun is in the nakshatra of mars and when Mar that nakshatra is divided into nine equal parts uh, then that sub lord becomes uh, of jupiter and when it is the sub lord is further divided into nine different parts it is in the uh, part of jupiter sub sub lord okay and in okay. it ways it, it keeps on so astrologers mainly consider till sub lord and few of them consider only till nakshatra i feel that sub lord makes a, contrib a significant contribution but uh, which one uh, you should be giving more priority uh, i still have a doubt on that I think uh, uh, the role of planet, nakshatra, and sublord are equally important. So, let's say I have this planet level, nakshatra level, and sublord level. So, which will be performing more, or the significance of which uh, of them will be more? In my uh, analysis, I've seen that uh, mainly uh, it starts with planet, then to some extent, sublord, uh, star lord, sorry, nakshatra and after that to some extent sub lord so sub lord uh, actually happens the least but if sub lord is negating the effect of uh, above two then event might not ha happen or actually it might weaken the effect of planet and nakshatra so or if sub lord is in so how do you find out the negative negation okay yeah that is a good question and that we will talk about so for negation uh, mainly we have uh, sixth house eighth house and twelfth house so uh, we have talked about that sixth house is mainly a bad house because loan uh, and your uh, i would say your enemies your competitors are seen and uh, your actual diseases that you will acquire in life so those things are seen from the sixth house uh, eighth house is house of delays out of uh, house of hurdles obstacles uh, your death accidents so eighth house is also a bad house and twelfth house is actually a negation of that house so actually uh, or negation of yourself so any house which is twelfth from itself which will negate itself for example first house is for myself so twelfth house will be for my losses uh, my uh, you know hidden enemies okay. uh, anything which uh, goes away from me or even my loss uh, any vital loss in my life that is seen from 12th house so this is me and this is my losses so, uh, so in similar way what happens is 6th uh, house is the house of employment and house of termination or switching job is 5th house so fifth house is for education so it is mainly said that uh, when education uh, is your more priority then employments uh, actually you don't see you don't find much of employment there in, in life of that person uh, similarly for uh, let's say ninth uh, tenth house tenth house is the house of your career your fame reputation and ninth house is for higher education 
so if ninth house coordinates are more than the tenth house then uh, it will actually negate your uh, career and it will actually move you towards a spiritual path or you can say uh, more towards higher studies higher learning more okay. of spirituality so this is what it signifies uh, and let's say 12th house is house of losses or uh, uh, or some something that uh, goes away with uh, goes away from you expenses and 12th from 12th is actually loss of 12th house that means your gain so 11th house is for your gain similarly when you see the about the seventh house seventh house is your, for your marriage and 12th from seventh house is sixth house so loss of marriage that is seen from sixth house so this is how the basic panda is okay. uh, so this was for profession mm, similarly we have other combination as well and always remember a single coordinate or a single uh, Cuspel uh, that the coordinate is showing that won't give the result uh, completely. For example, if I see only six or only eleven, then uh, results won't be that uh, good as expected. But we, if we have a combination of all of these, then results might be extraordinary. Similarly, for education, if all of these come, then results will be quite good. If uh, only few of them, then that won't be that uh, satisfactory so uh, we will discuss on that also so and for termination uh, it is 5 8 5 8 and 12 so 5 how fifth house is main house of termination eighth house is uh, house of hurdles loss or you know and 12th house is ultimately the uh, bad house so if there is a combination of all of these then chances of termination is quite high now let us consider if uh, i don't have all of these i have fifth house at the same time i'm it is also showing 11th house at the same time uh, something like uh, sixth also so what might happen is he might switch his job he might be continue. Uh, he might be working. Uh, there won't be any termination, uh, but if, because eleven is there, there would be some sort of gain. So he will be switching his job. So there is also some example that we will see and how to judge whether it uh, be a termination. Uh, that will also take uh, into consideration. So let us see what happens. So this is this was about job and termination for good married life uh, which most people are obsessed about or uh, seek answer for it is 2 7 and 11 two uh, second house is for your family seventh house is for your spouse mm. and 11th house is for your gain so all of this coming together that will uh, confirm marriage and what is denial of marriage or divorce that is one six and ten so houses which are opposite to it or sorry, twelve to it so twelve to uh, second house is one so uh, you more have a tendency of being single so first house is about myself so i will have more tendency to be alone sixth house is the house of uh, mainly for employment and because it is 12th from uh, seventh house it is mainly denial of marriage and 10th house is for your uh, mainly career so focusing more on career and staying away from a good social or married life that is mainly signified by 10. so this is for denial or divorce but uh, if this comes with so 6 10 and 11 is also conjoined with 8 and 12 then uh, divorce or denial uh, this divorce might come with uh, you can say mm, uh, with lot of loss financial loss 
uh, if it is for women then i can consider that she might go through phys some physical harassment at the same time so some kind of losses some uh, reputation loss as well so uh, divorce happened but it happened with something bad in your life okay so divorce itself uh, you okay. cannot claim that uh, if it is a good thing or not so because if you're not enjoying a relationship or a marriage then uh, it is okay to break but if it is happening after uh, with a lot of dispute then uh, then it is a bad thing so see uh, there are not many bad houses associated for the houses of divorce 10 is itself is a good house 6 itself is good for your career one is not a bad house itself it is for you but when it is conjoined with 8 and 11 then it causes some harm in your life or for you uh, and with that harm divorce takes place so mainly this is the concept for so uh, one question these mm -hmm. degrees that you have mentioned uh, which planets are there some specific planets that we need to check for these degrees or is this general like uh, if we see these degrees anywhere in the chart then uh, it, it's a signifier of either divorce or marriage life uh, uh, so it, it is actually about majority of the planet so out of nine planets what are the majority saying so if majority of the planets are showing coordinates for 2 7 11 then uh, the person is expected to have good life so this is according to the stellar system i won't uh, say that according to the previous version that we have worked on so we are only talking okay. about this so only stellar system if we're talking about if a more number of c there are nine planets and if majority of them have two seven and eleven then is expected to have a good marriage life if uh, most of the planet are having uh, 6 10 uh, 1 6 10 then uh, that uh, married life uh, will, won't be there you know uh, or i would say uh, that uh, you know uh, the happiness that is there in the married life won't be there so let me come to health For health. Give one more question. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. So, uh, for married life, uh, these uh, uh, the coordinates you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. But uh, is this also the signifier of when the person will be getting married? Yes. Uh, so, let me also explain that. So, what happens is, Venus is the natural significator of uh, married life. and uh, if any of the planet if it is holding 2711 coordinates that also becomes a potential uh, significator for marriage so what happens is uh, uh, there are three levels of dasha as you know as you know, there is mahadasha antardasha and pratyantar dasha so when there is a dasha when mahadasha lord uh, plus Antar Dasha Lord plus Pratantar Dasha Lord both have uh, both are in a favorable situation to show married both all of three all the three are having uh, coordinates for 2 7 and 11 at that time you can say that okay. this person is quite likely to get married but uh, and same would be the case for divorce right yes, uh, all yes. three of them showing the opposite correct 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 absolutely correct but what i have felt and also here one thing so the strength of mahadasha will be greater than antar dasha that will be greater than pratantar dasha that will be somewhat uh, equal to uh, transit transit that means uh, the movement of planets around so you see uh, so at time of your birth uh, your planets were at certain position and after some stage it has uh, gone to some other uh, position 
so let's say if jupiter in the coordinate chart is signifying marriage and in the current transit if it is aspecting the seventh house and also the dasha of uh, this planet is there then chances of marriage is quite high okay so jupiter is in the 11th house and let's suppose that jupiter is showing the coordinates of uh, 2 7 and 11 so jupiter is aspecting uh, 7th house first good thing jupiter is also in placed in the 11th house second good thing so jupiter dasha is a good significator of marriage here and out of these uh, there is an exception if the dasha of venus comes then even if it is not holding the uh, uh, coordinates of 2 7 and 11 it uh, might show marriage because venus is the natural significator of marriage and it can show marriage even if it is not holding those coordinates so there is a little exception here so basically any time during the manadasha of venus it can it, it is like likely to happen yeah Venus uh, for many of the people I've seen that uh, the relationship starts or uh, you know something new starts in the uh, Dasha of Venus because the main reason for that is uh, Ketu is mainly a significator of uh, separation or moving out from something and Venus is actually getting associated with some other thing so for that reason it is considered that uh, okay and also uh, venus dasha is quite long so uh, mainly for the reason being uh, it is natural significator for marriage that is the reason that uh, uh, it is quite likely that uh, marriage generally happens in this dasha so uh, there might uh, so there are also dasha in which marriages happen but uh, if Venus Dasha is there and it is not holding those coordinates, so you don't count it as denial or having a, or you know, if it, it is not supporting marriage, don't count that in that category. Count it as a significator of marriage. So, uh, so even if uh, Venus has the coordinates for divorce, is it like still okay? No, in only in case if it is having the coordinates of divorce, then in that case only it becomes weak. So Venus should have all the, okay. all the three, one, six, and ten. All the three it should have. If it is having only two of them, then I won't still won't say that it is weak. If all three are there, then it becomes weak. Okay. So. Yep. Uh, for health, uh, mainly it is your first house because it is you, it is related to you. Fifth house is uh, for your digestion and it's because most of the diseases that come out is mainly from your digestive system. So fifth house and it is also the acid secretion, house of your acid secretion and uh, it is said that if that is in good place, if that is happening well, your digestion is good, it is uh, all the food that you are eating is getting absorbed in your body, then your health will remain in a good condition. So for that uh, fifth house and then comes ninth house also because it is fifth from fifth. So I've mentioned earlier that uh, there is a concept of Bhavat Bhavam that if it is fifth house and there is something fifth from fifth, then it also holds the uh, qualities of that house. So ninth house is fifth from fifth house. So it also holds the quality of fifth house. So in that way, ninth house as well uh, for all the qualities it's had and 11th house because it, there should be some gain in your uh, health and for poor health uh, it would be quite simple houses of all the losses this huh. and uh, one more thing about relationship this is also something that most people are uh, concerned about and w at what time they had a relationship so 
for that uh, there are th some levels 5 and 11 uh, 5 and 11 is the so five, fifth house is only for house uh, for love the attachment or the emotional uh, you know uh, connection between the your partner that is seen from the fifth house and eleventh house is a gain of that so complete devotion or complete uh, loyalty towards the relationship that is that comes from fifth and eleventh house now uh, if you add a bit of uh, scandal to it so this comes out to be eighth house so eighth house is also the house of your genitals so then this loves comes out as a passion and you know something which is driven by your hormones not out of emotional connect between your partner same thing for the uh, 12th house that if uh, it is like this or even if 11 is not there then that connect will be only for the reason of uh, you know that will be driven from your hormones or that puts you in the category of lust if that is there so even these uh, coordinates do give a relationship but uh, these becomes quite intense so only attachment is there but at the same time the, the feeling of lust or you know uh, having a relationship that goes to an extent of physical relationship that tendency would be there and now five is like common to all yeah five is common to all because it is the main house for a relationship or you can say your love affairs so and now if this happens then this becomes very deadly extremely deadly five eight and twelve so uh, insult loss uh, and also this leads to uh, I would say uh, any sort of physical relationship and in this case what happens is if uh, Venus is conjoined with uh, Saturn then this shows uh, the combination for sexual perversion venus and saturn are conjunct and both of them or any one of them are holding this coordinates 5 at 11 uh, 5 at 12 sorry then uh, this becomes quite uh, deadly i would say because uh, Venus is, as I've said earlier, uh, mainly denotes your relationship. And Saturn is actually outer planet. So something which is not accepted in the social norms or which is not something uh, which is commonly accepted. So uh, that is something that would be there. So Saturn and Venus. So mainly it shows that uh, something unorthodox or something bad and uh, it leads to sexual perversion so in many of the cases what i have seen that age difference between uh, two partners would be very high uh, this might also lead to uh, i would say be, uh, breaking and having remarriage again so multiple relationship having a elder spouse so age difference I have mentioned earlier as well and uh, let's say if that 5 8 and 12 is there and that combination of Venus plus Mars so there I'm considering a mutual aspect like we have considered a mutual aspect of two planets like for example yes you remember that you have mutual aspect of uh, uh, Jupiter and moon so even that taking into mind if that is there 
So Mars and Venus could be uh, very aggressive, aggressive relationship could lead to physical assault. And uh, so here Venus plus Mars that you've written, it is basically a mutual aspect between the two, right? Mutual aspect and at the same time uh, conjunction. So for both of the case, Venus Saturn, Venus Mars, uh, conjunction okay. uh, would be uh, okay. But uh, I think uh, uh, even mutual aspect is also potential uh, have the same potential or have the same potential to give the uh, give these results. And if these coordinates are there, then it becomes quite critical, very critical. It could be very deadly. Okay. Now also, uh, there's a natural significance that uh, if Venus is with some good planet like Jupiter, maybe a mutual aspect or uh, some let's say um, uh, having conjoined together then what will happen is so this time you have to yes and uh, guess yes so uh, since jupiter is a benefic planet i'm assuming it mm -hmm. is something good yeah correct so spouse will be Spouse will have a religious inclination. Uh, it could also be uh, uh, high moral standards. And uh, uh, religious high moral standards and uh, something which is socially accepted so these things but generally uh, I've seen that uh, these people uh, respect the opposite gender a lot especially if, uh, when I'm considering for male then these people are quite respectful towards females for most of the people that I've seen with uh, Venus and Jupiter conjunction, they are quite respectful towards women. So this was about uh, relationship. Uh, let me uh, see if uh, some other. And one more thing regarding this uh, 5, 8 and 12. So, fifth house is actually eleventh from seventh house. This is seventh house, and if you go eleventh house, this is this becomes your fifth house. So this is you. This is opposite to you or someone you are addressing. And if fifth house is there, then that means gain of someone opposite to you, or gain uh, gain of your opponent. You can understand it like this. Uh, eight thousand is for your loss, for your, uh, you know, losing your job or something uh, or obstacles. And twelfth house is for complete destruction. So gain of your op opponent at the same time your loss. So in six, eight, twelve, what happens is six, eight, twelve is only your loss. But in 5, 8, 12, uh, your loss plus op opponents win. So that is why 5, 8, 12 is uh, quite dangerous and at the same time uh, scandalous as well. Okay. So this is it. Uh, so let us jump to some of the charts and understand. Uh, 
so this is the chart of one of uh, my seniors so uh, this has uh, shown you earlier so he got uh, 99.63 percentile in cat 2011 so in 2011 at that time he was going through the dasha of uh, uh, mercury 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 and mercury has 611 so as i said winning any competition or gaining in any competition with uh, gaining over your opponent 611 is the major coordinate and mercury dasha having 611 coordinate uh, was uh, had made it a cakewalk for him to do good in his uh, uh, exams and when you see in most of the uh, coordinates uh, five five four nine houses for studies are there five nine well two five nine five nine and also 611 so 11 is there and also the houses for studies are also there so this person was good in his studies but and also when you look at the chart moon in the fourth house as i've already said that uh, moon is in the fourth house and that means that uh, that his focus will always be there towards his studies and that will help him to improve in his studies or and also the capacity of the mind which i have discussed earlier that it is directly opposite to sun so that grasping capacity will be more and also moon and mars conjunction so which also gives a relationship which i've discussed earlier Mo sorry moon and mars aspect not conjunction here aspect so main significant or the main uh, key point here was 611 611 in few of the planets and mainly in planet which has longer dasha so when you see venus venus has dasha of 20 years uh, jupiter has 16 years saturn 19 years mercury uh, then uh, 17 years so out of 120 years majority of the, the part is covered by these planets so it becomes more so here i would say in this dasha system or when you are judging out of coordinates then not all the planets hold equal importance a planet which is having a longer dasha will have more impact compared to one which has okay. shorter dasha so when you add up uh, this is 16 16 plus 19 is 35 35 plus 17 uh, that is 53 53 plus 20 is uh, 73 so out of 120 so 73 that means uh, uh, around 60 percent so um, even more than 60 percent of the his dasha are showing uh, 611 so that is a good thing but again if and also i have not considered mars here as well so mars if you add uh, mars is seven years so from 73 to 80 so that comes out to be 80 percent uh, sorry 70 percent i'm sorry 70 percent of this dasha is covered with 611 coordinates so that is extremely good so let us take one more example and understand sorry okay this also you can take uh, so this is also extremely good chart moon in the ascendant as i said uh, is quite good having mind under your control and let us look at the dasha system here jupiter started in the year 2002 and will continue till next year november and this was a quite good dasha <clears throat> but at the same time you can see 5 8 is everywhere 5 uh, 10 5 5 11 is there uh, so one more thing uh, you can see a combination in a row and in a uh, vertical wise also so there is a horizontal yoke and there is a vertical yoke so i have 5 here 11 here so this combination will be weaker uh, compared to a horizontal yoke but let's say if i have a five here 
and I live in here and I don't have any connecting planet here or uh, or a combination which is actually supporting my yoga then th this won't count actually so let's say I have six year 11 year so 6 11 is somewhat significant but uh, it is lesser significant come if it if it would have been in the same line so is it clear okay, okay. yeah so yeah. let us look, yeah. look let us look at this chart so moon in the ascendant so let us uh, analyze from the very beginning moon in the ascendant uh, very good uh, mindset uh, fifth lord in the fifth house very intelligent and sun and mercury together and also mars so uh, very logical in her approach and at the same time aggressive also uh, so logical plus aggressive uh, that makes uh, and very sharp minded as well fourth lord in the fourth house as well so fourth lord is mainly for your um, i would say uh, your mind your focus your luxuries and venus is uh, placed in the same house so her mind was uh, actually quite steady towards her uh, goal and also there is a uh, aspect so here i would say this aspect was not as uh, uh, you know deadly or bad because venus is in the good place venus is uh, in this own house and also saturn is the lord of ascendant so lord of ascendant that means yourself and when you look at the coordinates saturn is having 5 8 12 bit harsh but uh, venus is having good so in that case uh, yeah you can understand that there would have been a relationship but uh, how deadly would have been um, that is quite difficult to tell or it uh, was it a bit harsh uh, that is uh, not as significant because when you look at uh, from the lagn chart perspective venus is in a good position so the dasha was for jupiter in this time and uh, you can see the combination for uh, love relationship is already there there in place uh, so five it is there uh, so uh, it is sure shot that uh, this person is expected to have a relationship there 511 is there and so it also means that uh, that uh, relationship will convert into a two-sided relationship not a single-sided because 11 is also there so uh, uh, what happened is uh, uh, when she got into college uh, around in 2006 after that she had a relationship with one of her classmates and today she has married that person a classmate so here also the uh, but i think the time that you currently is chosen is of 2002 and 4 right uh, do we need to uh, switch the time to 2006 uh, 2000 uh, no it started from 6 okay okay Achha, achha. so 16 so currently she is going through this dasha i have not mentioned the antar dasha yeah. so let me uh, so Jupiter Mahadasha, Rahu Antar Dasha. So most of the planets, as you can see, 11 is there in almost. So uh, 10, 10, 11 is there in almost. So professionally, she will do very good. That is for sure. Yep. 10, 10, 11 is all there in almost. That is there. Uh, so. and in the current dasha uh, so let me move back to the phase that i was talking about actually uh, so our entire jupiter dasha was quite good it went on in a very good way and also this person is quite uh, caring in nature so for having a good caring nature uh, there are some coordinates as well so 2 5 and 11 it is considered to a person having these coordinates are having uh, is considered to be very caring and also uh, considered that uh, he will have a good social life 
so two is actually your family so interacting with the family uh, five is having compassion empathy for others and 11 is for gain uh, so 2511 is mainly for a very caring nature so this person also had a very caring nature only issue is so now uh, as the person is married I, there won't be expected any uh, scandal but uh, when you see 5 8 12 there is always uh, you know some issue and when a, a planet like saturn's come with such coordinates uh, then uh, prob chances are quite high that uh, there could be something uh, you know uh, quite major loss in the life so that issue is already there so that problem could be there and Saturn is expected to come in next year November so this Dasha would be a bit uh, painful at least till next three years till November 2018 to November uh, 2021 uh, apart from that when you see all other planets they are good 10 11 2 10 uh, 2 11 uh, 1 10 so uh, things are good only saturn is a uh, having a coordinate which is which is a bit de uh, deadly so what will happen is the saturn saturn will be a bit uh, crucial time for her or will bit, bit critical time for her will face lot of hurdles but after that when saturn saturn will end and the pratyantar dasha will change so here you see there are again some good coordinates here so again her uh, life will change so there will be a certain dip in her life certain problems will come but again she will overcome those so let us move to some other chart as well this was for relationship and let me look at uh, so this so this person uh, i've explained uh, uh, in the previous class that he got 100 percentile in cat last year he appeared for cat uh, and he got 100 percentile so let us look at his dasha so in january this year cat results were declared and at that time he was going through this moon dasha and moon had 10 11 so i explained earlier that 10 is for name fame reputation and 11 is right. for success so same thing happened here and when also when you look at other coordinates so coordinates for studies are in there in most of the planets so 4 5 uh, then 2 9 2 9 uh, four nine then four uh, three three is mainly for communication third house is considered to be for communication uh, and third being twelfth from fourth is actually denial of uh, studies or person will be poor in studies so I think I have not mentioned this so okay. this is for education and if uh, poor education I would say for that it would be third house and all the bad house uh, but here when i see uh, 10 11 is in the most of the and also when you look at the chart in his lagna chart first you have to make the analysis based on here moon is directly opposite to the sun uh, moon is in the fourth house uh capacity would be quite high this could this person could learn things at uh, in very short time so these things are already there so uh, and also these qualities starts reflecting so here is a drawback for the uh, coordinate system that uh, here i can see that the fourth house is quite uh, solid or quite uh, you know activated or it's performing good but here when i see the coordinates i don't know which house is having the larger impact or compared to other houses 
so that is why i uh, I, I personally have this opinion that uh, you should look at the lagn chart first understand what is the personality of the person and then jump to uh, this coordinate chart and uh, the first time he took cat was in 2011 2011 in this dasha sun okay. and moon so sun mahadasha and moon antar dasha so here if you see again in the same moon dasha he got he did extremely well this was in okay. moon antar dasha and also if you check mars mars is also having same uh, 10 11 coordinate so even this is good for them. okay so the confusion that you were just talking about mm -hmm. for the fourth house mm -hmm. uh you're saying that the fourth house is pretty good because mm -hmm. that it that's because mm -hmm. saturn is it is in its own house mm -hmm. and the moon is in the fourth house so no, no, no. saturn is not in the own house saturn is actually owing these two houses it is in the house of jupiter so nine number is sagittarius okay, yeah, yeah. sorry sorry right mm -hmm. so uh, moon and saturn is basically good combination uh, can you just explain this again so uh, see uh, mm, as i said earlier saturn is anything which takes you to in depth uh, so yeah. having a in depth analysis of something is good but uh, going into that okay. uh, uh, movement in a recursive way and uh, keep thinking about that uh, and keep on thinking in that uh, same uh, thing or in a tape recorder form uh, mode and that right. is something right. not encouraged so that is why moon and saturn is good for uh, with some respect if you want to make an analysis or you want to have a deep dive on something it is good but at the same time you must uh, know where to stop and where to put a you know uh, keep a full stop to it right. to you, all your thinking so what happens is when a person has a higher capacity of thinking like here i have moon is close to full moon the capacity would be high so this right. person would have the ability to control his thinking or to direct his thinking or even if the person is having the capacity or the tendency to keep thinking more he will direct his uh, that energy in a right direction and okay. also you see that uh, jupiter is uh, aspected aspecting this combination also so it, uh, right. it also uh, gives the blessing to that so uh, there is a, that tendency that is there but also at the same time it has a bit of direction right okay so uh, what was the confusion with the coordinate system that you was just saying so uh, my take is that uh, uh, see the entire chart first go to lagn chart analyze the personality of the horse, uh, person and then jump to uh, <clears throat> this coordinate chart to pinpoint the dasha and to understand that which dasha would be good which dasha will have a good impact on the person on the native's life okay so like i did for the previous chart i said that 5 8 12 uh, she is going to have that dasha in saturn and saturn is also a planet for extremities uh, so anything extreme is expected to have uh, is expected to come in that dasha uh, so i said right. that uh, first 3 uh, years will be quite critical for him or will be you know you understand right so uh, in this case uh, saturn has uh, for this particular chart saturn has also has the 12th coordinate so uh, is uh, okay i mean uh, that's why you were saying that it is like conflicting with your here yeah here uh, it is there but uh, again uh, this thing uh, this coordinate doesn't take everything into consideration like i said this uh, yog is also aspected by jupiter right. so Uh, that uh, thing uh, uh, is not there in this coordinate this coordinate is not okay, seeing okay. everything each and everything so uh, 
the results of these coordinates will be there. Right. So it's just uh, telling you about the individual results of all the planets. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. So this uh, it is showing about its coordinate, but not all of the influence that it is getting from the other planets as well. So that will actually uh, somewhat uh, amplify the uh, some of the houses effects of some of the houses and uh, deamplify some of the others. So that is expected to happen. So coordinate is good. It works most of the time. I would say 70 to 80 percent of the time, but it doesn't take into consideration everything. So even you, if yeah. you start practicing uh, this coordinate the star, coordinate system, you will get uh, around 70 to 80 percent of your prediction correct. But rest 20 to 30 percent will be unexplainable. You won't have any clue that why it happened. And when you uh, look at the lung chart, you will understand that uh, when, uh, when I've made the analysis on the basis of lung chart, uh, the situation seems to be completely different what coordinates uh, says. So this is why I say that first look at the lung chart because lung chart uh, won't be incorrect. It is never going to be incorrect. Only thing is that uh, uh, when you start connecting the dots in the lung chart, you have to make a very deep analysis. And here we have ready-made formulas for everything. In this uh, coordinate chart, we have ready-made formula. Just put the formula and get the answer. Uh, so this is very simple. Right. But uh, in a way itself, it is a bit incomplete and doesn't show you everything. Doesn't show you all the picture. So that is the reason I recommend first go to lung chart and then go to coordinate chart. So let me show you one example where there was a job termination. So here there was some uh, complexity or you know uh, some something which actually striked mind strike me completely uh, when I had a look at this horoscope I thought that this is a very good horoscope everything seems to be in the right place so let's analyze this and let us understand that what is there in this horoscope so when you see this uh, cancer ascendant ascendant lord is moon moon is in the Kritika nakshatra nakshatra of kritika uh, and also exalted so moon is exalted in the taurus sign so lagan lord is exalted very good jupiter is in the uh, second house is also right. considered to be a very good house for jupiter because it gives you good speech so this is a house of what you speak and a good planet like jupiter here will always make you uh, you know a good speaker or some someone who doesn't speak foul or uh, speaks in a you know in a decent manner I would say Rahu in the sixth house I had said that earlier that Rahu in third sixth tenth eleventh is considered to be very good Rahu in the sixth house is extremely good uh, good for career uh, good for overcoming all your competitors Saturn in uh, seventh house Again, Saturn being the Lord of uh, seventh house and placed in the seventh house is extremely good. Good for your business. Uh, good for having a stable relationship for long terms. Uh, everything is good. Uh, Mars is here, so Mars uh, in the ninth house makes a person very friendly uh, uh, because it is ex expecting uh, the uh, third house. Third house is mainly for your friends, your uh, 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 younger brothers and Mars being the significator of uh, your siblings and friends if it is expecting this house and especially if it is placed in the ninth house for most of the people that I've seen these people are quite friendly uh, and have a good circle because of their friendly nature Sun exalted in 10th house with Venus and if I look at the Shadbal of uh, uh, the uh, 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 the amount of strength that the sun has that will be tremendously high sun in this lagna being the second lord exalted here is extremely too much so sun is extremely powerful here 
and now moon and the 11th house so moon the is the planet is based on the degree so there is something also called uh, shadbal uh, let me uh, check if it is there or not uh, uh, so this is called i think uh, let me see if if i landed on the correct thing or not mm, no 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 so uh, that is something which is there but i'm not finding it currently so what happens is there is a uh, thing called shad bal shad means six and six bulls are associated to uh, each and every planet so and that is seen through six uh, factors like uh, direction disha bal then kendra bal uh, and something like this so, so these are called shad bal so there were uh, some software which readily comes with this and uh, did i Uh, and on basis of that uh, you can mm, uh, see the sadbal so uh, firstly i used to follow that but uh, i thought that that is not making a good impact only to uh, see the personality of the person that somewhat makes a difference but uh, I, i stopped following it so even that i don't take into much, don't take that much into consideration so uh, in case if you uh, find the sadbal chart any in any of the software you will uh, understand that what is that uh, six bal is and how it has been uh, summed up into a shad bal or having a cumulative uh, bal of all the six factors is actually shad bal so sun in the 10th house if you see the shad bal of this sun then that will be very high extremely high because it is in the uch rashi kendra bal is there uh, disha bal is there sun is very powerful and uh, so someone is who is born somewhere around uh, in the noon around noon sun is in the 10000 sun in 10000 is extremely powerful uh, sun in this house also makes your immunity very high i've seen that people with sun in the 10th house uh, they hardly fall ill their body is always uh, in a good uh, condition immunity wise these uh, this is a very good position for sun to have and again ketu in the so ideally everything is placed in the right position but uh, when i had a conversation with uh, this person more deeply and i tried to understand that what is uh, there and why she got terminated Uh, then it showed me a completely different picture so one thing that uh, is there is mercury is debilitated of your intelligence uh, mercury is mainly the significator of your intelligence and that is uh, debilitated uh, that was the first key to look at that uh, what was wrong with it and when when I, then when i looked at the chart she had uh, she was going through the rahu dasha and rahu had 5 8 and 12 uh, though 2 6 10 was there in the top but uh, there was a 5 8 10 towards there and that was also negating the effect up so as i said if something down there negates the effect of top then these results will be insignificant so that is what uh, okay. i learned there so uh, let me explain this 5 8 12 in a layman term 5 is your buddhi and when it comes with 8 and 12 it becomes ku buddhi uh, then uh, something what you uh, what you are thinking that becomes destructed for yourself having a quite destructive uh, kind of uh, thought process that comes with 5 8 and 12 Okay. So that was the main uh, you know determining point or something which uh, actually struck me then so then i realized that uh, even coordinate system works uh, coordinate system if you look at them closely you will find something that uh, you haven't seen there in the birth chart 
though at the first go i thought that uh, this chart is very good and it is actually good whatever analysis i made was uh, extremely correct absolutely correct uh, but uh, again uh, what happened is this person joined the company in march 2015 and towards may 2015 uh the po- position was such that she was about to be terminated from the organization because there was a assessment test so first when you get into an organization you have to pass the training part and unless you do that uh, you might get terminated because of uh, on the reason for being a non performer under that circumstances uh, under that condition you might be terminated so uh, she uh, so what happened uh, what, what was the rule is uh, you were given three attempts to uh, qualify in that assessment and if you fail in all the three attempts you will be terminated uh, so in her first two attempt she did very badly and then she consulted me and then i had a look at this chart so first having a look at the lung chart was quite good this person might also do something of his own and that is quite likely and might hold a very good reputation in the society because son in the 10th house and also ascend in lord being exalted i thought of that uh, this is a very good personality and uh, him uh, or she might do w- very good but the only issue that i saw is that person was going to rahu shani dasha shani also has a bit of 58 flavor here and 58 along with 6 so for termination when 58 uh, what happens is 5 then 6 and any one of 8 or 12 that comes into picture or even all of them 5 then 6 then 8 then 12 if all of them come into picture then chances of denial of uh, job or termination is quite high here you see uh, in mahadasha lord 5 6 8 12 all of them are there here also 5 6 8 and uh, she got terminated in may 2015 itself so there for him uh, for her i predicted that uh, she will lose her job and also saturn uh, is a natural uh, separated a separative planet rahu shani both are separative planet so even dasha also indicated that she will she will move to some other company even if i don't look at the horoscope or this nadi chart this coordinate chart from the dasha itself it was quite evident that uh, as she was going through a separative planet dasha she might lo- lose her job so uh, first of all the call, the call or the thing that came to my mind even up even before looking at the coordinates that she will lose a job and she will get a good job after this why because the termination part has already been then and now there is 2610 and also when you look at the chart uh, saturn is in the kendra house it is in there in the kendra and it is in the own house so termination would be there it will do some damage but after that what she will do will be quite uh, solid so that was what my prediction is and uh, after that she stayed in in the in her next company uh, till late she is working there so this is what I, uh, the analysis that i made and things turned out quite correct so this is how you make an analysis of the chart uh, start connecting the dots at first go you might not find uh, things uh, in the right place but when you start connecting the dots and having a detailed analysis of the horoscope uh, everything will be open so uh, you know there were there used to be some dialogue in some old hindi movie chalo uski kundli kholte hai dekhte ki kya hai so when you start uh, connecting these dots and start understanding you will get everything that is there in, and you will understand each and every aspect of, of the life yeah so this was one so i have taken for termination 
let me take for uh, any other example mm, let me think that uh, what next example should i take so, so one more example that we have this is also for job termination and this person got terminated uh, so let us check the chart now so uh, here when you look at the personality jupiter in the ascendant uh, and sun jupiter venus all of the three in the ascendant so uh, anything that you want to conclude yes from this chart all the three being in, in the ascendant Uh, so uh, Jupiter in the ascendant, you already told us that it's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sun and Venus, I'm not really able to figure out. Okay. In the, like conjoint with Jupiter. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, Jupiter and Venus, I've, I've said earlier that uh, there will be a respect for uh, uh, of opposite gender. So that will be there, uh, and that, uh, and also the qualities of this person will be more of like a Jupiter and Venus type. So, uh, and also ascendant lord in the ascendant, sun being the lord of the ascendant in the ascendant. So, uh, if a, a person looks at this uh, guy from outside, you'd find him very attractive, very good looking, and. Uh, you know very sophisticated and something uh, or i would say in a short uh, very attractive personality at first look now when you look at uh, other thing that uh, moon is joined conjoined with k2 so okay. mind will be keep on shifting he will think of something now and uh, so he cannot sit uh, or cannot be there for an or you know he it has to uh, do something or the other because moon is there with ketu so mind won't be still but at the same time moon uh, there are both the planets uh, planets to the both side of moon so that has controlled the mind and as i said earlier if moon has planet on the both the sides then this person can uh, get away in any situation even in the worst case scenario this person will have the tendency to find the correct solution and get away or uh, go through saturn in the sixth house will suppress all the enemies uh, and overall if you look uh, and mars also in the uh, 10th house so person will be very energetic and will be committed towards working so overall when you see the lagging chart this looks very good everything is in the right place uh, personality is good uh, everything is uh, from get your voice seems to be breaking i'm okay. sure if it's from my side okay okay no uh, i think uh, okay is it okay now uh, is it okay or if it is still breaking uh, yes can you hear me yeah now i can hear you okay 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 then. Uh, so let me continue now so here when you look at uh, this uh, so ankit can you start off from the uh, after you were done with the first house can you explain uh, okay, what you okay, said okay. after that and i think you said saturn is in the sixth house mm, saturn so after that house, so uh, i said good for competition uh, so he will actually win over all his competitors so in a way very good placement for saturn also uh, for uh, having a good personality and at the same time mars in the 10th house that will make the person very energetic and also willing to uh, take up some initiative and work on it always after something always ready to uh, commit or to towards doing something so uh, also a very good position for mars and as I, as I said earlier, Moon is here in the 11th house and Moon has planets on the both the sides. So this will help to uh, actually uh, 
get away with any situation or you know uh, uh, if even if he is in the worst case scenario he will probably get out of it so i was saying about uh, that planet there on the either side of moon is actually very good so so yeah so that is actually a good position to have for moon uh, so in a way when you look at the entire horoscope it looks very good uh, all the things are in right place are ideally placed and uh, everything looks perfect but what happened is in 2014 Uh, december or i think in october 2014 october this person got terminated from his first uh, employer from the first organization that he joined from the first job that he did and this was quite stunning or quite uh, you know uh, a bit surprising that even after having such a good horoscope what went wrong uh, so let us see what actually went wrong so first of all as i said for termination or separation there has to be a dasha of any separative planet uh, rahu ketu shani uh, so these are the main significator of separation or termination so just have a look here in the month of october his ketu dasha started jupiter venus ketu this time he was going through ketu dasha and that's where the termination happened he got termination and the coordinates for termination here are uh, 5 8 although 5 is is not there in either ketu or venus but it is there in some of the planets in sun in moon in mars and in rahu so that potential of 5 8 is there but uh, in main significator planets significator planets it, it is not there so uh, that is what uh, as i say when you have to look at the personality look at the lagna chart and when you have to look at the uh, what will happen to the person in so and so time look at the coordinates chart okay. so having uh, idea of both of them is uh, great when you analyze or make an analysis of both of them you can get 90 to 95% of your predictions correct that that is what i have felt uh, so when you start the analysis have a deep dive first analyze the lagna chart how the personality would be and then get into the coordinates this will give you uh, you know very precise accuracy of the uh, of your prediction so he was going through ketu dasha and he was not doing uh, good in his uh, uh, i would say the assessment that is there in the uh, during his training part and towards the end of october or start of november he got terminated there from his employer so here in jupiter we have 58 12 is there down but there is no connection between them anyway this uh, is a very good actually 10 11 but 5 8 is there so potential of being terminated is there termination is there in venus we have only 12 12 so that is uh, not supportive at all in ketu again we don't have any significant but uh, ketu itself can possess the threat of termination because it is the natural significator of termination or change of job okay. Okay. so as i said venus is natural significator of uh, your uh, uh, marriage ketu shani and rahu are natural significator of separation so this person got separated from his organization then and after that in the month uh, in january he got a very good job so now 10 11 working here and then some uh, sun dasha came and in sun dasha he got into a very good company uh, in the same city he 
performed very well and he joined in february that year so here uh, 10 11 showing its effect however you see that uh, 8 and uh, 5 8 12 is still there and but still that impact wasn't there because sun dasha i think generally is very short and uh, so that's why and also that person doesn't have a job at all so uh, uh, so this won't come into picture at uh, that stage 10 11 so when you have 10 11 and uh, 5 8 12 both of them so the strength of them are quite equal so what happens is uh, always remember 10 11 is somewhat equal to 5 8 and 12 the strength wise both are equal so good things will happen at the same time something bad will happen and also when you look at the 5 10 11 uh, also there is a one combination can you pinpoint what it is uh is was it something to do with relationship correct correct he was there in relationship so even that relationship broke and as i said it is a scandalous relationship 5 8 12 so that relationship was full of scandal uh, this boy was mainly his ancestors were, were from haryana or rajasthan so he was a Mar marwadi and he uh, liked the uh, marathi girl so that was the major conflict that happened uh, so both were intolerant towards okay. each other's uh, uh, you know culture and that's why the relationship break and it happened after a lot of scandal okay so so uh, uh, looking at the surface level you might not get these indication but when you uh, get a deep dive you will uh, you know reveal most of the things that were not there or when you just look at the chart so nadi coordinates of this uh, coordinates of the planets do work they are quite productive but only looking at them won't be sufficient so this is what uh, i have for today and i conclude with this note that this method works really fine works wonder but uh, take it with the consideration of lagna chart with background of lagna chart okay